Hey, my name's Liz and I'm back with a haul for the week. Um, every Wednesday I try to go to my favorite thrift store. It's the day they change the colors and so I get the best deals, um, find the new stuff that is just going on sale. Um, most of the stuff in this haul is going to be 50% off. I have a couple big bags like this. Um, I sell on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. Um, and yeah, so I'll show you what I got. This is my second time starting this video because my dog was being crazy. So I had to put him in the other room. But these are the brand Sunday Best, which is sold at Aritzia. They're like a wide corduroy. They look like a pair of pants that your grandpa probably owned. These were $4. I love to sell Aritzia. I haven't sold this style, but I'm hoping to list these in like the $40 to $50 range. I feel like they're kind of trendy, even though they look like your grandpa's pants. I don't think I'd wear them, but I'm sure people would. Um, these are, or these, this is a dress from Toad & Co. And it has a tag from Sierra on it, which I think is part of the TJ Maxx family for $30. But I'm just going to rip that off and probably list this for like $40. Um, it's this really cute little print. I think I've only sold this brand once. Um, so I don't have tons of experience with it, but I always hear people talk about it. I only paid $5. I figured since it was new, I would give it a shot. I have quite a few new tags things today, actually. This is Madewell. I saw this last week, but I didn't want to pay $20 for it. But I was happy to pay $10 today. So it's a midi-length linen dress. Um, and it's a size 2X, and it's new with tags. So since all those are good factors, I figured it was worth paying up for this. I typically only pay up for their jeans, but with it being plus size and linen and like a cute style. I thought $10 wasn't too bad. And this is another piece I saw last week. And this is rails, but you're not really gonna be able to see it. But this is a cute little white dress. It's kind of like a baby doll, like sack style looking dress. Um, I paid $5 for it today. I definitely don't do great with their stuff that's not uh, their flannels, but for $5, hopefully I can get in the like $40 range for that one. I've sold a couple dresses from them and they don't do great. So, uh, I didn't want to pay $10 for it. These I did pay $10 for. They're a cute pair of overalls, which I typically do well with overalls. These are like a more open back trendier style. And they are by Rebecca Minkoff, which she's definitely known for purses and shoes and stuff. I don't know if I've sold her clothes before. They're new with tags, though. So these are called the Bryant overall. I haven't looked them up yet, but I figured for them being really cute and new with tags, I'd give them a shot. They're more of like a slim leg style, but I think those are really cute. Hopefully you can get like 50 for those. These were a fun find. These are Kate Spade. And they are embroidered with flowers. They're a really dark, dark blue wash. Um, the tag is crossed out, which normally I see from TJ Maxx. So I don't know if that's where these were from or if somewhere else did that. But they're really cute. Um, I think there's usually some kind of style name information in here so hopefully I can figure out like their name and what they were called and stuff but I paid $7.50 for those I found a couple Kate Spade things and like those were priced for $14.99 I have another dress in here that was $10 and then there was another dress that was priced for $90 their pricing just makes zero sense across the board this is for my Christmas baskets. Um, tomorrow is December, so within the next, I'm gonna say probably about a week or two, I'm gonna film a video of all the stuff that I've been collecting. I'm making a Christmas basket for um, my sister, my mom, my dad, 
my sister's fiance and like a small one for my husband because I usually just give him the stuff as I find it. But um, I've done that for about, I think this is year four now where I've done this. Everyone loves it. I can get them so much stuff for such a like great price compared to what I would get if I was just buying them new stuff. Um, so it's really fun and it gives me an excuse to shop for some stuff that I wouldn't normally pick up. And I found this while I was looking for some shirts for the guys' baskets. And this is Lululemon. And it's a men's t-shirt. Still has the hang tag. Or I probably would have had no idea because this does not give me Lulu vibes. But the symbol is in black down there. Um, I'm not sure what this one's style name is. It's like a Henley shirt. And it's a size small, which is not the best, but um, for $5, I am definitely happy to pick up Men's Lulu. I find that it sells super quick every single time that I have it. And these are Abercrombie jeans. I think I bought three pairs today. They were all awesome styles in great sizes. So this is the Mom High Rise in a size 12. It's button fly. I paid $10 for these. I'm gonna list them for probably 60. Um, they're super trendy style. They have the raw hem. Um, I usually do great with Abercrombie's current jeans, not like their skinny jeans from 2008 or whatever, but their current, like very modern ones, I've been doing great with. This was a fun little find in the bathing suit cover-up section, even though that's definitely not what it is. But this is made well. This is kind of like, I think it's their loungewear-ish um, tag. But it's a little romper or like, I want to say it's almost like a sleep romper. It's super stretchy. It's like fleece inside. It looks so comfy. I paid $4 for this. I think it was really current too, like 2021 or something. Um, yeah, summer 2021, so just a little over a year old, super cute, not sure on that one, I'm guessing, hopefully like 30 or so, and this is the other piece of Lulu I found today, and this was also in the bathing suit section, and it's not bathing suit, obviously, but it's a workout tank, and I spotted it because I've sold this kind of strange print from Lulu a couple times. Um, I found it in a shirt and leggings and maybe even one other thing, but this is kind of an interesting style top. It's like very strappy, has some mesh. Um, it's got a shelf bra in it. I think it's a size eight, which is nice. Um, yeah, I paid $5 for this. Thought it was an interesting style. Um, I know Paying $5 for Lulu might seem crazy to you for a tank like that, but I don't find reasonably priced Lulu except at the bins around me. So anytime I can pick it up for like five, eight dollars, I'm happy. I think this might be the only kids piece I got today. Maybe one more. This is Hannah Anderson, but it's a Hannah and Star Wars collab, which I love to sell Hannah Anderson and I Love to sell the collabs by her especially. I paid $8 for this, which was paying up a little bit. But I could not find more than one of this exact dress listed. And it, it, it had sold once in this colorway. There was some that had the red top. But I only saw one with the blue and there was none listed. So I figured it was a more rare style um, it would be so cute to wear to Disney World, or if you're just a Star Wars fan, probably gonna list that for like 30 bucks. Oh, this was a fun little find. So this is straight to Depop. This is a Juicy Couture bag. It is the classic Terry material. It has this big tag on it. It has Juicy embroidered back here, and the heart on this side. It has like the interior here um it looks just like the bag i had when i was in high school um it's like a little shoulder bag i think this will do awesome i saw this last week and i didn't want to pay 15 dollars for it it has a couple little marks on the handle 
that I'm going to see if I can wipe off. But even if not, um, paying seven for this was fun for me. It gave me nostalgia. Um, and I think I'm going to try and list it for like 40 or $50. So, um, I've sold a couple juicy things and if it's like the velour or the terry, it flies out of my shop. So I was excited for that one. I guess I really found quite a lot of Madewell today and I actually left a few pairs of jeans behind too, just based on price. Madewell again, these are a nine inch skinny, which isn't always something I pick up, but they're from fall 2020 and they were only $6 and I liked the color of them. I thought it was a nice fall winter color. Um, and they're a good size. They're a 30. So for $6, I grabbed those. If they're even listed at 10, I probably would have left them behind. Oh, this one got me so excited. So if you've been watching my hauls, you know that I have been finding Universal Standard over and over again at this same shop. Um, so this one is a collab of, Rod I think you pronounce it Rodarte, Rodarte, Ro I don't know, I, that's my best guess. But this is a designer that I recognized from, they did a collab with Target a year or two ago. But this is Rodarte and Universal Standard. It is new with tags and it's, a black midi dress the stock photos are super cute of it on um, the bottom is like a ruffle uh, so if you are new to universal standard they have a strange size chart where size I think the extra small is like a large or something like that like I the couple of pieces that I found have been mediums and that was in 1820. So this one is an extra large. So I think it's like a 24. So definitely make sure that if you find this brand that you're checking their size chart because you don't want to list this as an extra large, which is my size. And this would be, you know, much too big on me. So you don't want to get any returns or anything because people are confused by the sizing. Um, I usually just screenshot their size chart and add it into the, um, listing with my stuff. I do that for all kinds of brands like Hannah because theirs is weird sizing. I do it with Chico's, like any of those brands that kind of make up their own sizing. I use it for, um, yeah. So I'm super excited for this. I think I'm going to list it for close to a hundred dollars and I paid 10 um, I thought that I was done finding it because last week I didn't find any. So I was like, okay, I guess my luck of universal standard is run out. I think that's like the eighth or ninth piece I've come across recently. And then this is another Midwell. This one is also plus size, but this one's a 1X. New with tags. I paid up for this one. I paid $15. Um... It's really cute baby doll in like a peach color. It has pockets. And I figured if worse comes to worse, my sister might like this dress. Mary, if you're watching and you want this, let me know. Um, but I thought it was a really cute style. And I think this one's also from 2021. So again, very current. Um, I will probably list that one for like 50 to 60. If you don't want it, Mary, let me know. Also for my sister, <laughs> this is not clothing at all, but she's getting married um, in a little over a year. And as part of her decor, we've been finding um, brass animals. So she wants to use that as part of her tablescape. It's gonna be like some eclectic, really cool, colorful floral vibes and stuff. So of course at the thrift stores, I look for these things and Sometimes I find animals that aren't um, brass, but I'm like, we could, we, we've, we um, for my wedding, we made candlesticks that weren't brass look like brass, so we know we can paint them to kind of match. So there was a whole collection of wooden warthogs today. Like, so bizarre. I bought her these three, but 
there was multiple other pieces of warthog-related warthog art at the thrift store today. So someone had a bizarre collection of um, warthogs. I don't know if it's, maybe they like Pumbaa, but like, I don't know. I was so, I was like cracking up when I found them because I'm always looking out for these animals, but that was one of the more like bizarre animals I've come across. This one was also there last week and I skipped it. Um, this is Gretchen Scott, which I've been finding decently um, often recently. I sold one of the shirts a couple days ago. I paid $5 for this. I did not want to pay 10 but it's kind of like a beach cover-up style. Um, my, that's my best guess because it's pretty sheer. Um, so yeah, I'll probably list this around 40 bucks. And this is a Revolve brand that's usually pretty good. I think I've only found it maybe twice, um, but the brand is Majorel. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, and it's like a little cocktail dress. It looks so tiny, but it stretches quite a bit, but it's like ruched all the way. It's probably midi length. Um, it's a size extra small. And I should be able to list this for close to a hundred. Um, this was $13 and I thought this was pretty fun. I've only come across that brand once or twice. And I think one of them was retail arbitrage at like TJ Maxx. And this is Vineyard Vines, which I find Shep shirts often. And I leave them behind most of the time, but I thought this one was kind of fun because it had lacrosse sticks, and I feel like that's pretty on brand for people who like Vineyard Vines. Um, and it's a size large, so I grabbed this one. I only paid six fifty for it, and uh, we'll see. I'll look this one up just to make sure it's not something like super special. But my guess is in like the forty dollar range for that. And this I like was staring at because I was like, they never ever price free people for $5. And I, I have to look it up and see, they had it in the dress section, but I think it's probably a tunic. If it's a dress, it's really short. Um, but it has this pretty open back. Couldn't find any issues except like one little snag, um, by the butt, but really pretty, um, and it's a size large. So for $5, I definitely grab that because they usually list free people at like 20. Um, and then I found some more Lily. Lily is my favorite brand. And this was a new at Tags piece. And it is a current, or not current, but I think it's probably a 2021 piece. Let's see. Lily always has a style tag with the date in it um, in here, February 2020. So I paid $20 for this, which you may not do for Lily. Um, I definitely don't mind paying up for Lily because I know which pieces um, do well. And I just like enjoy having it in my closet. But this one is a Sophie dress. And I love the colors of this. Um, so I think I will probably list this one for like 75 for it being new with tags. Here is another pair of Abercrombie jeans. These are the Curve Love High Rise. It doesn't say anything more than that, but they're definitely like a wider or straight leg style. That's the tag. And this is kind of what the newer ones look like. They'll tell tail tell you what the style name is under there another button fly and these were 10 also hopefully list those for around 65 those are for my husband and so is this um this was a bra that i spotted um i usually kind of just flip through their bras to see if anything is new with tags or like a great brand um, some that I'd look out for is like Third Love, Savage X Fenty, um, something that's not just like your average brand, which I pick those up at the bins, but I don't pay up for them usually. 
this one caught my eye because I could tell it was a bigger style and it seemed pretty nice. So the brand is Elomi, which I hadn't heard of, but it had um, Australian, French, and European sizing on it with the US sizing. So I figured I'd look it up and it's a size 42 triple D. So it's like a nice, interesting size. Um, and I think I should be able to list this for like $40, which was pretty cool. And I paid three for it. So it's not a brand I've tried before, but it seemed to be pretty good. So I'll let you know how that one goes. Oh, uh, here's another animal for my sister. I can't tell if this is a deer or a llama or what this one is. This one's obviously silver and not wood, but there you go, Mare. And okay, this is another piece of Lily. And this is a romper. I own this romper. It's one of my favorites. Um, I think I own it in three prints, which is embarrassing. But this is a size large. Um, if I didn't already own this, I would probably consider keeping it. I paid $13 for it. But this one is a newer piece because it has the hot pink label. Um, the slightly older pieces have a paler pink label. And I think I will probably list this in the like $60 range. And again, I just love having Lily. But if you aren't like, you know, super familiar with Lily, um, I would definitely look up pieces that are solids like this um, and double check because they don't go often for nearly as much as the fun printed pieces. Okay, this is Faithful the brand. The tag's kind of covered, but Faithful the brand. I've found this at TJ Maxx and Marshalls many times, but I've never found it in the thrift store, so that was cool. I think it's a midi dress. I'm not positive. Um, it has like half sleeves, cute print, a tie in the back. I paid $8 for this one. Um, and I have to look this one up. I've kind of had a big range of their stuff because I found it quite a few times. Um, like I said, with retail arbitrage, but, um, I'm hoping to list that one for like 75 and this is for me to try. I just really liked the print of it. It's just like a stretchy jersey knit, super comfy dress. Let's see if I like that. If not, I'll sell it. And those are for my sister. And these are another pair of Abercrombie. These are the third pair and these are the 90 straight ultra high rise. And these ones were only $8 and I've sold this pair before. So I know that they do well. And these were 14, which was awesome to find a nice bigger size. And then we have this free people shirt, which had a TJ Maxx tag on it, which I'm just going to take right off because it also has the new tags. Um, free people tag and it was $98 for this shirt. So it's one of their waffle thermal knits, thermal waffle knits with some floral detailing and it's a size large. I paid $7.50 for it, which I was happy to do for it being new with tags. And I thought that was pretty cute. I didn't look that one up, but, um, I'm guessing I'll list that around $40. We don't have too much more left. And this is a Disney t-shirt. This is Disney Parks, which I typically will pick up stuff with parks on the tag more so than um, if it just says Disney, because a lot of the time that could be sold at Target or um, I've even seen Disney at Kohl's and like those kind of places. So. Disney parks, you know, it's um, like more of actually from Disney. This is a Mickey shirt and it's a size 3X, which is part of why I grabbed it and it was only $4. So we'll, we'll look that one up. I don't think that's anything like amazing and rare, 
but if it happens to be, then um, that's different, but I'm guessing that's gonna be like a $25 sale. This is part of a Christmas present. I picked up two, these are for people who don't watch my channel, so that's fine, but I picked up two new and package things today. I always check out the games to see what's there. Um, this is a puzzle and it's the 90s icon puzzle. So it's like all sorts of fun stuff. I'm gonna give this to my cousin, I think. And then this is Hi Ho Cherio, which I remember playing as a kid and it was brand new. And um, my cousin's daughter is turning three in a couple weeks and this said three and up on it. So I figured I would give this as part of her birthday present. So it's brand new. I don't know what this costs in store, but I paid two fifty dollars for it. So I figured if stuff is new, like I don't like to gift people who aren't expecting it secondhand things unless they've like approved it before. But I figured if it's brand new, no one has to know, right? <laughs> this is um, something for my mom. My mom has a um, furniture refinishing and like decor and crafts business. Um, so sometimes if I find cool things that she could refinish or um, upcycle and use for something else, I grab them. Now I think this is a bookend and there was only one, but I thought it was beautiful. I think it's like a tree. I paid $3 for this and I'm sure she will do something gorgeous with that. Um, okay, this is a jumpsuit and I actually have this exact same one listed in my closet. It may even be the same exact size. So that's why I grabbed it um, for $8. And a lot of the times if something like this hasn't sold, I won't necessarily grab it again um, because well, it's been sitting in my closet for a few months, but it's a jumpsuit that kind of has like a drop waist and it's from the brand Monroe which I think is sold on Revolve and those kind of places like Shop Bop and Nordstrom and that kind of stuff. But I figured since it was the exact same one, I'll just update the quantity that I have for it. And I pretty much have to do no work for it. So uh, for $7, I will take it. And I think I have the other one listed in the $50 range. This is something I will gift to someone for either um, the holidays or I don't know at some point like just having this is like a going over to a hostess gift or something so it's brand new from swell and it's a wine chiller I paid six dollars for it um, I want to say these retail for like 40 bucks or something so I figured it was a nice little gift to grab since it was again brand new and here's the third warthog that I was telling you about like how bizarre I don't know why someone was collecting them but okay this is a bolo brand or at least I think so so the brand is Wayre. that's my best guess w-a-y-r-e and I figured I'd look it up because it said designed and made in Los Angeles so I figured I'd check it out um, and it's kind of an athletic dress. It's like that dry fit, stretchy material. Um, I think it has, is it just a dress? Okay, yeah, it's not, it doesn't have shorts, but it has a little bit of a shelf bra. And um, yeah, so I paid $6 for it and the ones on Poshmark were listed in like the 80s so I was like okay we'll definitely give this a shot um I will let you know because I've never come across this brand or sold it before but um maybe be on the lookout for that okay I did pick up a couple other kids pieces so I got two I think that's it two other kids pieces and this one is Zara which I remember seeing last week and thinking it was gorgeous, but I didn't want to pay, or maybe I didn't, because last week white would have been on sale too. So 
Maybe I just either skipped it or I didn't see it last week, but this is a Zara dress. It's a size 11, 12, and it's like a puff sleeve, white jacquard dress. So I thought this would be perfect for um, like if they need a graduation dress or something like related to a communion, like isn't that kind of the right-ish age? Or maybe not communion, maybe that's too old for communion, but you never know. Um, I don't know, it's Easter, spring, just I thought it was so pretty um, with the puff sleeves. And when I pick up older kids stuff, I try to be conscious of like, would a 14 year old actually wear this style or um you know is this too childish for a 12 year old like are they not going to want to wear this so I kind of try to think of that when um I'm picking up the bigger kid sizes not not nearly as much comes to mind when I pick up the little kid stuff but okay this is actually a great example here so this is Lily again this is the white tag so you saw the, the, the bright pink tag earlier. So this is, it goes, currently is the like hot pink, then there's a lighter pink, and then this one. So this one's like in the earlier 2000s, um, but the older kids pieces are always fairly coveted. This is a size 6X, I paid $6 for this. It's not the most exciting one, um, if you can find one that has appliques on it, those are usually extremely coveted in the kids' dresses. But I thought this was adorable, and I have to pick Lily up. It's just my, it's just a rule in my life, I, I suppose. Okay, last two pieces are both Kate Spade. So this is a big pouch. I don't know if it's like a makeup pouch, or it actually has probably could be a crossbody because it has these little hooks. It doesn't have the strap or anything, but if you wanted to add a crossbody, I guess you could. I paid $6.50 for this. It has a couple little scuffs that I think I'm going to be able to wipe right off, um, but I thought this was fun for $6.50. And then lastly is this Kate Spade dress. So it's navy, and then the back has a lace inset and like this opening. And you can adjust the elastic at the waist, which is kind of interesting. Um, this was new with tags for $10, but then it was right next to another Kate Spade dress that was $90 and did not have the tag. So I don't understand, but it's called the After Hours, After Hours Athleisure Textured Lace Dress. And it retailed for $228. So... Her clothes don't always do the best, but for new tags for $10, I'm gonna snag it and pick it up. So I think I found some really awesome pieces today. Um, my favorite is probably that universal standard dress. Um, I was really excited to find those three pairs of Abercrombie pants because I know those will do well. Um, oh, and the juicy one, that was fun. If you're around my age, you know that this was just peak of like your adolescent years. Um, so thank you for watching and I will be back either next week with another thrift haul or something else in between. So have a great week.